That's hilarious, man. Watch your fucking mouth, okay? Number one, you're filling in for this Angela Yee rumor report slot. And bitch, you the one who picked up my video. How the fuck is you giving commentary about what I'm asking when you the one giving it more light on a nationally syndicated radio show? The nerve of this fucking hoe. Of course you're going to think I'm a bitch. Because of course you one of the manliest looking bitches out of everybody, whether uh, out of all these social media commentators or, or influencers, whatever the fuck you are. Actually, I think you're supposed to be a comedian, except you're the only comedian nobody knows none of your jokes. Not one joke. Bitch, you're auditioning for the Angela Yee role. You don't got no jokes, shorty. Everybody done roasted you for being on funny. Corey Holcomb put his foot in your chest. You can't really talk about nobody. That lopsided wig can't save you. We see your real hair too. Bitch, your shit look like Kevin Durant, all that taco meat on top of your head. You can't really talk about nobody, girl. You got to get them jokes right. You've been struggling. There's a reason why you trying to read the rumor report. On the shade room and on my page, taking videos of them, be like, oh, well, this is going on with Gunner. I don't know if you sucking Gunner's dick or some other person's dick. You defending wild amount of shit. You getting at me. Bitch, don't kill a messenger, man. Y'all never seen her real hair? I'm going to show y'all her real hair, bro. That shit look like pubic hair, gang. I swear. I swear. I don't know who she really talking to. Face strong as Juana, man. Nostrils big as the Lincoln Tunnel. I got to show you this bitch, bro. I can't believe this fucking hoe trying to play with me. I don't know who she is. Bitch, you trying to be the Angela. Hold on, let me. Hold on, I got y'all. Hold on. I got to show you how this bitch look, bro. This bitch look rig. This bitch look crazy. What's up, y'all? This is ho. I hate when you go to a fucking hair. You see this bitch, bro? This is the type of ho who's trying to talk about me. Got a strong, got a strong face, no edges. How you a bitch and you got the Batman sign in your head, man? Come on, stop fucking playing, man. You got the McDonald's logo. Yeah, I know the McDonald's logo, so don't try to come back with some fat jokes. Because I think you got your body done, too. And I think Country Rain used to be sucking on Country Wayne's dick before he dumped your bitch ass and went right back to his wife or some shit like that. So you really don't got much room to talk. I think people think that because you're manly and you're a woman that makes you funny, you're not funny. You just got some big ass nostrils and a fucked up hairline. It's cool. The lopsided wigs ain't gonna save you forever. Baby girl, you gotta work on some jokes. Work on some actual jokes. Bitch, you're supposed to be a comedian. You're trying to be the rumor girl at the breakfast club. How you a comedian? I swear, one of y'all tell me a popular, just hilarious joke right now. Oh, DC did roast her ass. Look at this shit. What's wrong with your head? The short pieces since they don't want to grow. <laughs> Jay. Girl, what the fuck wrong with your head, bitch? Bring that little ponytail. Hell, girl. Bitch, you look like a newborn Yorkie, girl. You look like Roger and Rondo. Look like your 4th of July was lit. You just woke up popping firecracker, right? Look like somebody popping firecracker on your ass. I ain't talking about that little shit. I'm talking about that pop, pop, pop. They had every can. Hey, yo, just hilarious. I got to cut this off just to say that's the nigga who funny. I give it up to my boy DC. DC funny. I'm going to keep it real with you. There's a couple. And by the way, this is what I'm saying. Like, bro, I'm telling you. The majority, especially, I know we into this equality society, and I don't want them to make this like, oh, act going at a woman, because I would definitely keep the same energy with a dude. I respond to everybody who gives me, because I didn't even know this bitch knew me. Anybody who gives me unnecessary hate, I got some, I, I got something to respond to you about. 
all I'm just saying, a lot of these females who think they're comedian, bro, she's not funny at all. My nigga's funny, though. Hey, adverse to look at the hood grocery store. Look, your EBT card not working, and I got a long line, so I'm about to get out, okay? <laughs> like, Tasha, come help me. Don't never know what to do. I don't know what to do, come help me. <laughs> These lace fronts are fucking up my friend just hilarious head. <laughs> B, you look like Matilda daddy, bitch. That had to say, I don't need no man. I know how to change oil and fix flat ties. Bitch, you got a pistol grip for a ponytail. You need to conceal a carry permit for that ponytail. Ma'am, put your hands on the well. I see the pistol on your hat. Black Lives Matter, bitch, cut that shit. I bet when you were young, you used to put your head in the fan. Look at that, girl. It's funny, man, just because I think Shorty Shorty is on Wild and Out. Nobody remembers nothing she ever did on Wild and Out. By the way, Nick Cannon, thank you for the invite recently. My schedule a little busy, but I seem Gil Gilly just been on Wild and Out too. They wanted me to be on Wild and Out like next week or some shit. I, I probably gonna be able to. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it, but I probably will. I don't think she on it, bro. She's over here reading rumors, bitch. You reading my video? You reading a script about my video? If you feel that way, then I'm a bitch. Don't do it. But you know what? You probably just need to check, my nigga. That's the reason why you're trying to be the Angela Yee of the Breakfast Club. Because put it like this. I don't got to talk about shit I don't want to talk about. But I guarantee you Charlemagne or Envy tell you, bitch, you got to sit here and talk about Big Act. And by the way, I guarantee I tune in tomorrow. Guarantee you're going to be talking about me again. So fix your fucking face. Straighten up that little lace front. Fix your nose, and when you speak it on Big Act, just remember, I ain't got no reason to talk about an unfunny bitch like you. You are sitting in the seat to talk about the interview that you didn't get, or the show you didn't, you're on didn't get. No shade to the Breakfast Club. So sit there and do your fucking job, and when you talk about Big Act, fucking smile. And fucking fix your hairline. All right, ho? This fucking bitch talking about me like that, man. All right. I'm out of here with it. All right, anyway. I just want to get that off. I, I just couldn't let this, this whole cook call me. I'm like, yo, this bitch is nobody. I got a cooker. Bitch, it's over for you. Like, nobody really can. Yo, let, oh, I got to play my man Corey Holcomb roasting her ass, too. Every, even the other comics roaster. Corey Holcomb. Listen how they talk. They talk about like, they talk about her like a dog. Who I know showed me how she was saying on this show. I'll be opening for her. He told about you, Jess Hilarious. I saw it. She said, nah, them OGs, they opening for me and all like that. Not Corey Holcomb, bitch. Let me talk to him. Something. Less hilarious is one of the people that the system chose to put out there to represent us. Facts. She had a real shot. Facts. Then she was on an airplane talking crazy. Why the hell did DC Young Fly call her Rajon Rondo? I can't unsee it. I guarantee she was on the damn Lakers instead of my man D Lo. They probably win. Yo, ever since this nigga said, wait, hold on, let me let me see. Jess hilarious. <laughs> let me see. Does she look like Rajon Rondo? Yeah, she looked like Rajon Rondo in the Celtics gang. I ain't gonna lie to you. Because he uh he Oh, cause you are one of the worst talents that are out there on the circuit. You're not funny. That's why she's reading motherfucking the rumor report. This bitch has been reduced to doing Angela Yee's old job. You're not funny. It's a tour you own. They didn't cancel more than half the dates. And you ain't talking about that. You steady putting my name in your mouth. Girl, you ain't funny. I swear, if LeBron had Hachimura... Austin Reeves and Rajon Rondo right here, nigga. I guarantee that nigga would be in the finals. Facts. That nigga just needed a little bit more help. Hey, 
I think she said something about I make public appearances and they pay for all this shit. I'm like, bitch, okay, we'll get it while it lasts. I thought y'all, I thought y'all was squashing and it was gonna be dead, man. That Who? Shit, that shit finna be back alive now. Who? You no, know she. You know somebody gonna, yeah, you know somebody gonna run it across. It it's, don't matter. I haven't lied again. since I started talking. Yeah. I haven't lied about nothing. If the girl had any talent, I would give it to her. But I remember when they put that tour oh. out that they going on. Clearly yeah. working. That tour you own that you keep going to, you act like she get money. Look, the bitch talk shit about Country Wayne before, and Country Wayne showed you how to get money on the internet. Wait, Shout out to Country Wayne. The less hilarious bitch. Or were they, they used to be a couple? I think they used to okay. be a couple. Okay. I saw her talking yeah. shit about the nigga one day. About same thing you was doing to me. About how he <laughs> got down and how he whatever. This oh, is what but I said it. But listen what I'm saying. The tour flopped. Mm. This bitch even talked about Nick Cannon. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This bitch said Nick Cannon called her and said, you want to be on Wildin' Out? Right after I was talking shit about it. Like, Nick Cannon was like, oh, I'm going to put you on. And fuck Corey. Let's just say that's true. Bitch, show me a funny moment of mm. you on Wildin' Out. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> but old girl set out Nick Cannon. She tried to make it seem like Nick Cannon ain't fuck with me because he was fucking with her. If that's the truth, then you put that out there. You shit it on Nick Cannon and Country Wayne. And I know Country Wayne don't never talk shit about nobody. I ain't never seen a nigga in no drama, except when he would fuck with you. So bitch, listen to what I'm trying to say to you. You can say whatever you want to say about an OG like me, but bitch, you going around talking about I open up for you. Let me tell you something. I could never open up for you because it would offset the show. You could not go on stage after I got off stage. God Every damn. promoter that I've ever seen always puts you up first. Even over the other bitch that ain't funny. Because both of y'all on that tour, and them motherfucking people ain't paying for that shit. What is that tour? I forgot the name of the tour. It ain't We Outside. It's That's the one that I got up off of. There you go. But it's, a, uh, it's another tour with uh, Less Hilarious. And uh, the other girl who ain't funny. And I know when people see this way. <clears throat> hey, just hilarious, man. Um, Listen, your whole industry is telling you you're not funny. You hear me? That's just a fact, all right? I'm just a nigga who just came up off the social media shit. Shit, I want to get into comedy. But it's clear that, you, it's clear that whatever the fuck you're doing, you're hustling backwards. You supposed to be on Wild and Out. I don't even know if you're on this season, but I hope you are, okay? My man Nick sent me a nice invitation. It's my boy Nick. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't see shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nick, uh... Oh, my God. Can we fucking... Oh, yeah, I ain't gonna be able to see this shit at all because of the fucking glare. Yo, kid, come fuck with us on Wild and Out. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell Nick, man. I show up if this nappy-headed hoe is gonna be there, and she gonna actually have a couple of jokes that people gonna rock with. Cause other than that, I don't need Wild and Out. Okay, I love you, Nick, and I respect you so much. But I like to make a moment. If this nappy-headed hoe is gonna be there, instead of sitting up at Angela Yee old job reading stories about my interviews in my podcast okay maybe i'll show up to that that, that wild and out show because i want to hear this bitch be funny even if it's joking on me okay but his big nostril nappy headed hoe cannot sit up on the breakfast club on angela yee's old job and think she's clowning on me when you're coming to me for the content that's in your fucking rumor report you're the rumor bitch okay you went from being the comedian to being the one to get smutted out by Country Wayne. You're the rumor bitch. That's it. Read along. Hey, academics did an interview with, with, with Dirk. And this was said and blah, blah, blah. Hey, Charlemagne, you're the star. What do you think? Watch your fucking mouth. Your peers don't respect you, but trust me, 
Nobody does. And by the way, don't pull a woman card on me too. And I know that's the next thing. But oh my God, oh my God. You don't get a man like this. Shut up. All right, let me get off of this before, you know, she, she try to call the woman brigade on me. But um, yeah. Yeah, they're gonna be like, I'm sexist and shit like that. Bitch, it's not funny, man. Fuck this hoe, man. Don't be bringing my name up like that. I don't even know you. I don't know you. <laughs>